Okay, in this video we are going to discuss about Cam Studio, which is a free desktop recording software and I would say this is an essential software for anyone who uh, make tutorial videos and it's free. Um, there may be other paid versions uh, of different uh, similar softwares out there, but if the features of Cam Studio are sufficient for you, then uh, this is a highly recommended uh, software for anybody who makes uh, tutorial videos. I'm using it uh, as of now, so this is what it looks like. If you are interested, then you can go to Google and search for Cam Studio. I would. There may be several links, but I would suggest you to go to sourceforge.net links. Uh, one of them is here, directly linked to the project. You can go here and download and install Cam Studio to start using. Now during the process of installation, if there are some files missing, then it will ask you to download and install. I suppose the dependent files are Microsoft V C++ distributable packages which are required to use the software. So once the software is installed, you can start running it and we will see some of the settings that uh, would help you to use this software more efficiently. We'll just walk through the menus one by one. So you can check out various options available in this menu. You can also uh, set the video quality from here. You can also select the video uh, codecs available. When I go there, um, the Cam Studio software keeps hanging, so I have taken a screenshot of this. So under the video options, you have uh, compressors that are available. You can select any one. By default, it's uh, Synpack Codec by Radius. And you can also select the quality of the video. Uh, if you are making tutorials, then um, the quality should be sufficient enough so that the text are properly readable. And uh, there's nothing much to change here if you, uh, well, if you know what you are doing, then you can also change uh, certain parameters, but uh, better not touch this if it is working fine. Uh, the other option is cursor option. This is uh, this may be important. Uh, you can either choose to hide the cursor or you can show cursor, actual cursor or custom cursor. So the cursor displayed here will change. Um, not that important for me, but cursor highlight is important. Maybe not that important as well, but uh, I just want to show a yellow circle wherever my cursor is so that can be set here and the shape of the cursor we can select and then when I do a right click or a left click I also want to show some other colors then in those cases we can set it here and we have audio options we have options for our microphone again I'm using an external microphone so the input device is displayed here otherwise it will be just the default which uh, is also okay uh, anyways if you are using an external microphone then it will also be automatically detected also based on your system audio settings for recording anyways uh, nothing much to change here like i said before if you know what you're doing you can experiment otherwise not that important if you are recording a video without any um, requirement for capturing your voice then you can record with this option do not record audio otherwise you will have to select either one of these two enable auto pan now if you want the uh, selected region to follow you wherever the mouse cursor is then you and record with this option enabled so if you move your mouse uh, that particular region area will follow you wherever the mouse cursor goes uh, the important option is here program options so when the recording stops whether you want to play the recorded video or not can be set here 
you can also choose your own player or the software comes with its own player directory for recording I prefer to use my own directory to store the cam studio recordings so for that you can go to your Explorer and I created my own folder here under videos okay so these are these are the cam studio files this is uh, getting saved so um, this is a good option to have so you can go to program options uh, directory for recording and the default is actually Windows temporary directory I suppose uh, but you can set your own directory and choose the folder path wherever you have created the folder and the recordings will get saved there recording thread priority I did not do anything here it's default name of the AVA file now uh, by default it is ask for file name it's ask for file name means when the recording stops it will ask you to um, enter the name of the file to save the video but from my experience I have found that uh, if I use the uh, ask for file name option then sometimes uh, the software hangs and then the video is not saved uh, so I have started to use automatic file naming it will use date and time so uh, I found that this is much more convenient and this is much more uh, safe uh, sometimes when I use ask for file name the video while entering name or while saving uh, the software hangs and then I lose the video so I would recommend you to use automatic file naming and then you can rename your file from the folder uh, after it is uh, saved so that is not an issue so uh, this is based on experience so um, these are the two important um, settings here directory for recording and name of the AVA file uh, shortcuts I don't do much here so nothing much here except for the video options and panning if you need and program options directory and name tools so from here you can set uh, if you want to show any annotations in the video then you can set it here annotations can be set up here I am using a caption and uh, you can also add your own watermark you can go to options and you can enter your own caption so the caption will appear at certain regions as per your choice so I'm displaying it at the bottom right hand side corner you can select you can set the font color and background color if you desire so um, if you also want to show some watermark on the video then you can also set watermark to be used on your videos so this option is also important so that's it guys um, if you want to use or if you're looking for a free software to uh, record your desktop screen then uh, cam studio is very much recommended I am sure there will be other paid versions similar to this uh, but I suppose the features um, available on this free software is good enough to record uh, and make tutorial videos so uh, if you have not yet tried cam studio then you can go ahead and try this um, from time to time there may be some um, issues with this software I have encountered so far two basic issues which um, I have been able to resolve so I have blocked about those as well uh, if you are facing some issues then probably uh, those are the same issues I have encountered I have uh, provided links in the description so you can check out those links as well so thank you so much guys 